Hey Food Foresters, Amy here. And today we are going to harvest our Virginia Jumbo Peanuts that we got from Esson's Family Gardener, or um, AKA the Sapper Gardener. <laughs> Sorry if I messed that Rob. up. Rob. Rob, yes. So we planted peanuts through this whole raised bed here. Now, unbeknownst to us, some of our yellow uh, Mexican sunflower seeds happen to get spread in here. And so these will be, we'll transplant these somewhere else, but I'm not gonna worry about bringing them, pulling them up right now. But for the peanuts, it takes about 90 to 110 days. And what you want to do is when the leaves start to start um, turning yellow here, that's when you want to harvest them. So I got my basket and we're gonna go ahead and pull a couple out. And then also too, when we get done picking the peanuts off, um, the um, leftover, When we get done um, picking the peanuts off of the uh, roots, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these tops and we're gonna go ahead and give them to our animals as a treat. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can tell, these are very tall because this bed is a little low, but I'm going to here oh wow yeah here we go I don't know if you can see this you can get down there. there's some peanuts all right let's pop one open and see if it's uh... well let me pull out this one I just broke it off the root. You should be, we should be using a fork. I'll have to get one, a little uh, tool, but. They look well. Let's see if the uh, bean inside is. Good. Yeah, see if the peanut is fully formed. Crunchy? Crunchy's good. Crunchy's good. Yep. Uh. Hold on, you get it. Yeah, it looks like it's filled up. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Hold on, let me get my gloves off so I can peel these. I want to see and try one. Of course, I know it's gonna be all natural. It's probably not gonna taste like a roasted peanut. There yeah, we go. You're gonna have a little bit of green. I'm gonna have a little dirt with it. Dirt don't hurt. All right, so there's the peanut out of the shell. All right, here it goes. Definitely has the peanut taste. Um, it's like, um, it does, it's not really an earthy taste though, but it's good, it's different. It's more like a, um, like an unsalted peanut basically, not boiled not cooked not roasted we're gonna boil these up mm -hmm. and probably freeze them eat some and probably freeze them but uh hey let me try that one you want to try that one here let me get your reaction uh, that's about eating a green peanut though but not bad no, not bad at all. Need some salt. <laughs> Tastes like a big, raw, harder green bean or something. Yeah. But not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so let's uh, pull out some more here. You know what? Hey, um, in our little uh, tool shed here, I think down at the bottom is one of those fork things and a shovel. You want to go All grab right. it? 
bat, not a peanut. <laughs> but this one is. <laughs> <laughs> got the peanuts in it. Yeah, got peanuts in it. I mean, they are coming, it is coming up really loosely. Yeah. I mean, holy cow. <laughs> this is so exciting! Look at that! Give <laughs> it shake off the dirt in the thing. No, no, in the. Well, <laughs> God, you get so excited, you're dumping dirt everywhere. And dumping dirt everywhere. Oh, look at all look those peanuts. Look at all those peanuts! This is so awesome! Alright, let me pick some. This basket ain't gonna be big enough. No. <laughs> We might have to pick them out here. Yeah, let's pick them do off. That. Let me um hold on because there was some that fell off. So I just want to make sure because it went. Oh, look at that nice big worm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, All right, we're going to so, start picking them. Yeah, I'm going to start separating them and putting them in here, but we may need a smaller basket because this basket's got a lot of uh, holes in it, so we may have to grab something else. Okay. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. What you doing, Amy? Picking peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, just so you know, it's July. Today it's supposed to get up to 104 with the heat and the humidity. So, sweating and breathing heavy, not a good combination. At least not outside. All right, so as you can tell, this is our pile so far. Uh, this is what we're gonna be giving the ducks and the, and the turkeys and the chickens, some nice little treats. Donald's been pulling this up in sections. We got one small section left, but as you can tell, there are your peanuts. Now you can cure these by hanging them to dry, mm -hmm. but we're going to be roasting them right away, and also we're going to be uh, uh, boiling some boiling too. them. Yeah. So we're not going to bother with uh, curing them. We're going to go right to cooking them. Now, um, just so for you guys to know, what we're going to do is we're going to let this um, bed rest for a week. Um, we're going to add some nice topsoil to it once I'm able to get the rest of this stuff cleaned out. Because um, you can tell we got dollar weed in here and it went crazy. And then we are going to go ahead and plant another crop of these jumbo peanuts. We still have some um, left over. And then that way, come near the fall, we'll have another harvest of the peanuts. That's one good thing about uh, Florida. We have a very long growing season. Long and hot. So we should, so we're, we're attempting to get a second season out of these. We ain't guaranteeing we can, but we're it's a try. good experiment to see if we can. And they did so well in this bed. We just got to replenish it. And I think what I may do is I may take one of these Mexican sunflowers, do the chop and drop. That's going to add in that nitrogen back into the soil. I don't know if we want to do it with all these seed pods on these. Yeah. I'd rather chop and drop them someplace else. Okay. I don't want more. I don't want to end up with the same thing with Mexican sun. Well, to be honest with you, this is the first year we've been able to grow them. I've planted these all over the place before. And just got little itty it, spindly ones. And just ones. gotten little itty bit. I mean, it, they're everywhere. And look, oh, look at all the butterflies. Yeah, butterflies love them. Yeah, look at the butterflies. <laughs> See them? Oh. They don't... <laughs> All right. Sorry, I don't take camera directions very well. No, you don't. I don't take directions, period, very well, do I? You try. That's why I always hear, yes, dear. <laughs> See, even the turkeys are laughing at you. 
Oh, here's a flower. What's left of one? Is that a flower or just a yellow leaf? I think it's a flower. Oh, it doesn't have a shell. Nope, it's a petal of a flower. Ah. All right, and um, all I do is I just double check before I lay it down, just make sure we got all the good ones. Because Donald likes these little itty bitty ones that have little tiny shells on them. I eat them whole, I, I don't even husk them. When I boil those, I'll just uh, eat, eat those whole. shell and all. Okay. All right, one I'm more small row. To Amy. Yep, one more small row. So I'll show you how he does it. You just come right out. Yep. You just pull gently. And these little runners, that's what these are. These will have them. Yep. Too. Well, that's how they, that's how the flowers fall. Yeah. Because the, the stem of the flowers, ooh, that's got a lot. Yeah, that's a good one. I think uh, I just double check in the soil. Yeah. Make sure I didn't miss any. That one didn't have a bunch. That's okay. Something's better than nothing. One more plant. Oh. Couple more. Yeah. And a weed. Woo! That's a weed. Yeah, the weeds hold <laughs> the plants in pretty good. <laughs> Just double check that, make sure there's no. Throw that in the ditch. Oh, there's a peanut. Couple more. Once these dollar weeds get into a bed, yeah, it's almost impossible to get them out. Got a few more there. Smooth that out and then uh, you want to smooth that, that corner over there out or that hole over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah as you can see, dollar weeds are pretty easy to pull out. It's With almost the like they're, they're just roots and literally you pull on one and almost the whole thing comes out. So, Let's see, throw that over the fence. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and finish harvesting this, and then we're gonna take it inside. Hey guys, if you liked that video, hit that like button, remember that bell, and subscribe. And if you wanna see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.